بهترین درودها As we celebrate International Women's Day, we send our warmest greetings to the pioneering women commanding the uprising in Iran and to the brave women of the resistance units. First and foremost, we express our condolences to the parents of the hundreds of students affected by the chain poisoning of schoolgirls in various cities and regions of Iran, and we salute the resistance and protest against this criminal regime. The revolution of unprecedented magnitude is underway in Iran, led by United Front of People against the oppressive and misogynist regime of the Mullahs. It is a nationwide uprising that rejects the present and past regime and is poised to establish a democratic republic pursuing the same path that the Iranian resistance and its vanguard women have been paving for over four decades. I would like to recall my support and solidarity for women in Iran, which are going under constant threat and massacres under the autocratic regime of Mullah. The Iranian resistance and the movement of Madame Rajavi has to be supported. Let's look to some of the people who have been part of the history of Iran. And there are even those who have suggested that maybe it would be good to go back to the old regime to the regime of the Shahs. Well, I am here to tell you that the people of Iran do not want that. They do not want to be ruled by dictators, no matter what their name is. Yes, we cannot for our sisters, I think they are our sisters, we cannot take to the streets in Iran, but we can do our utmost to give them international support, to show them day in, day out, you are not alone. We are by your side and we fight with you. By young. Male Iranians that also want freedom, they are there to say, it's enough, no shahs, no mullahs. Uh, as a conclusion, I would like to express once again my support for all the men and women that want freedom, the, the, that, that want to live in a democracy, in the respect of uh, the rights and uh, freedom, fundamental freedom.